Hi there, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best monitors for graphic design currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favorite five. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, so as usual, I'm going to skip the fluff and just jump right in. If you want to confirm my recommendations, go in the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the best price. All right, so the first one on the list is going to go to my personal favorite. This is the BenQ PD. 3220U. So this is really the Rolls Royce of monitors minus the chauffeur. It's not just a monitor, it is really a digital window to a world where pixels are so sharp you might need a band-aid. The 4K UHD Beauty comes with Thunderbolt 3 connectivity that's so fast it would give Usain Bolt a run for his money and a built-in KVM switch that's more versatile than a Swiss Army knife. Some of the key features, size matters, we're talking a 32 inch panel because who likes squinting and the resolution revolution 4K 3840 by 20 2160 pixels like having an art gallery in your living room. The brightness 350 CD over M squared because nobody likes a dim screen and quick on the draw pixel response of 5 MS blink and you'll miss it and color coverage sRGB 100% 95% display P3 DCI P3. It's like having a million crayons at your disposal and a refresh rate a cool 60 Hertz because life doesn't need to be a blur and an input extravaganza two Thunderbolt 3 ports and two HDMI 2.0 ports more ports than a coastal town essentially. So who's this for? If you're the kind of person who appreciates the finer things in life like a good wine or a handcrafted watch then this is the monitor for you. Whether you're a professional photographer who needs to spot the difference between 50 shades of gray a designer who's tired of playing hide and seek with pixels or just someone who enjoys binging Netflix in 4K, then this could be your ticket to visual nirvana. Just don't expect the built-in speakers to serenade you. They're about as impressive as a mime in a shouting contest, but hey, nobody's perfect. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best for beginners. This is the Philips 288E2A. So this is like the middle child of the digital display family trying so hard to stand out. Philips decided to add an inch to their 4K IPS monitor because, well, size matters, right? It's like they took their popular 28 inch monitor and thought, you know what this needs? Just a smidge more screen. It's like giving a mouse a cookie, but in this case, the mouse is your desk and the cookie is screen real estate. Some of the key features, not just a pretty face, 28 inches of IPS panel glory, because who needs borders in their life, and 4K resolution. That's 3840 by 2160 of pixel prowess. It's like each pixel went to finishing school. And brightness, 300 CD over M squared. Not the brightest bulb, but it tries. And nimble pixels, 4MS response time. It's like the monitor equivalent of a quick-witted comeback. And a colorful personality, 119% sRGB coverage. And a smooth operator at 60 hertz refresh rate, keeping things as smooth as a jazz singer in a velvet suit. And inputs, display port 1.2 and HDMI 2.0 for when you need to plug in uh, anything, really. So who's this for? Well, it's for the aspiring graphic designers, the budget conscious creatives who want a bit of that 4K magic without selling a kidney. It's got a stand that's more adjustable than a politician's promise offering both height and tilt adjustments. Sure, it's not the brightest star in the galaxy and its color coverage is a bit like that one friend who's always almost cool. It does try. No USB-C connectivity, but hey, at this price point, you're riding economy class, not first. And if you're after a monitor that's more about the journey than the destination, then this could be your ticket. Just don't expect any HDR fireworks. It's more sparkler than Roman candle. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best mini LED graphic design monitor. This is the Asus Pro Art PA32 UCGK. So this is one of the heavyweight champions of monitors. It isn't just a monitor, it's really a technological marvel that's more bling than a rapper's jewelry collection. It's like Asus looked at other monitors and said, hold my beer. And with its mini LED tech, it's like having the northern lights on your desktop, but without the frostbite. It's so bright at 1600 nits, you might need to apply sunscreen. Some of the key features, the size and resolution, a 32 inch IPS mini LED panel with 3840 by 2160 resolution. It's like looking into the future, but even clearer. Brightness overload, 400 CD over M squared, typical, and 1600 CD over M squared max. It's practically a lighthouse in monitor form. Response time, 5 MS, because who has time to wait? And the color wonderland, 100% sRGB, 99.5 Adobe RGB, 98% DCI P3, 85% Rec 2020. 
it's a rainbow festival. Also smooth as butter at 120 hertz refresh rate because life is too short for lag. And a port palooza, HDMI, display port, Thunderbolt 3, USB-C, USB 2.0, it's like a party and everyone's invited, really. So who's this for? Well, if you're the sort of person who doesn't blink at the price tag and your motto is quality over quantity, then this is the monitor for your discerning eyes. Graphic designers, photographers, anyone who needs to see colors so vivid they almost start talking to you, this is your holy grail. It's heavy both in weight and on your wallet though, and the controls might make you feel like you're solving a Rubik's Cube, but if you want a monitor that makes rainbows look dull and HDR content that pops like a champagne cork, then this is your dream come true. The next one is my recommendation for the best ultra wide option. This is the Dell UltraSharp U4021QW. So this monitor is so large, it's like having a cinema screen on your desk, minus the sticky floors and overpriced popcorn. It's not just a monitor, it's really a statement piece. It's like Dell decided to go Texas size with their monitors, because apparently everything's bigger there. This 40 inch behemoth is the digital equivalent of a luxury yacht, expensive, expansive, and sure to make your friends green with envy. Some of the key features, big screen, big dreams, a colossal 40 inch IPS panel, it's like having a window in an, into another dimension. Resolution, 5120 by 2160, so it's so sharp you could cut yourself on those pixels. And a moderate glow, 300 CD over M squared brightness, not the sun, but it will light up your life. And speedy pixels, 5ms response time, color fiesta at 98% DCI P3 coverage, so like having a painter's palette in digital form, and steady viewing at 60 hertz refresh rate, keeping it smooth and steady, and connectivity galore, display port 1.4, dual HDMI 2.0, a USB-C, and a 90W PD. It's like a tech smorgasbord. So who's this for? Well, if you're a graphic designer who dreams of screen real estate like a property mogul dreams of land, this is the monitor for you. It's for those who believe in go big or go home and have the desk space to prove it. Sure, it might cost as much as a small island and there's no HDR support, but when you've got a display this epic, who needs high dynamic range? It's perfect for anyone who wants to open more windows than a skyscraper in spring. And with color quality so good, it's like diving into a sea of pixels. Just remember you might need a map to navigate across that vast digital landscape. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best for print, and this is the ViewSonic VP3268A 4K. So this is the monitor that's so Pantone perfect, it could be a supermodel in the world of print. It's like ViewSonic decided to create a monitor that's not just for looking at pictures, but for making sure those pictures could grace the cover of Vogue. This 32 inch marvel doesn't just display colors, it parades them down a digital runway. Some of the key features, size and clarity, 32 inches of IPS beauty with a 4K resolution. Like having an art gallery in your living room. The brightness is 300 CD over M squared, not the sunniest day in the park, but it will do. And responsive pixels, 5ms pixel response. The color extravaganza, 113% sRGB coverage, so more than a box of crayons. And smooth flow at 60 hertz refresh rate as smooth as a jazz tune. Connectivity heaven, display port 1.4, dual HDMI 2.0, a USB-C and a 90W PD for when you need to plug in more gadgets than a spy. So who's this for? Well, perfect for the print perfectionists, the color connoisseurs, those who can spot a misaligned hue from a mile away. If you're the kind of person who dreams in CMYK and wakes up thinking about color accuracy, this is your new best friend. Sure, it's not the brightest bulb in the box and lacks HDR support, but with Pantone validation, it's like having a color therapist for your design work. It's perfect for graphic designers, photographers, and anyone who wants their digital canvas to reflect what they see in their mind's eye. Just don't expect it to light up a room. It's a monitor, not a chandelier. All right, so those are my recommendations there. Hopefully there's something on that list for you. If you do have any questions, drop them down below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.